We've already seen that Python can use mathematical operators, and the ones that we've looked at so far have been arithmetic operators. So we can do things like this. We can do 5 plus 6, and it calculates the answer. But there are other types of operators that we can use too, and the ones we're going to look at today are comparative operators. And a comparative operator is like this. That's less than or we've got greater than, or we've got equals to. Now we use two equals, uh, because one equals means assign, put a value into, and two equals we use to say compare. Um, we can also say not equal to, so the exclamation mark means not, or we can say greater than and equal to, or less than or equal to. So these are our comparative operators. And we can write a little expression that is like a statement. So 8 is bigger than 6. So what we're really doing when we type 8 is bigger than 6 or greater than 6 is we're asking the computer the question, is this statement true? Is it true that 8 is bigger than 6? Now we know the answer is yes, it is. Um, if I press enter, Python will tell us whether it's true or false and it says it's true. And I could do 8 is less than 6. And here again it's going to tell me, is this statement true or false? And this time the answer is false. Or I could do is 8 equal to 6. And again the answer should be false. But is 8 equal to 8? Yes it is. So it says true. So it's another mathematical operator, but this time it's a comparative operator. And Python tells us if that statement is true or false. Now, fortunately, we can store that value in a variable, so we can use it somewhere else. So we could do something like, let's call a variable is equal. We can assign the value 8 equal is 8 equal to 8. And it's done something, but we can't see it until I do something like print is uh, equal. And it will print out whether it's true or false. There it is. It's true. So we can store the result of our um, statement there, of our expression, in a variable. So that can be useful. We can use that elsewhere in a program. But so far, all of these have been done with literal values. Um, we can also do it with variables. So I can, instead of using 8 and uh, 6 or 6 and 8, I can use a variable in its place. So I could have like num1 uh, equals 8. And then I could ask the question, um, uh, is num1 less than or equal to 7. And it will say false, because num1 was um, 8. That's not less than 7. It's not equal to 7. I could do is num1 less than or equal to 9. And yes, it is. Um, it is. So it returns true. And we can use variables on both sides of the statement too. So I could have a num2 and say that's 10. And then I could do num1. Is it equal to num2? False. It's not. So with that in mind, we can then go and write a quick little program and perhaps compare numbers that a user enters. So let's write the program. I've created a new file and I've put in my comments just to say what I want the program to do. So the first thing I want it to do um, is ask the user to enter two numbers and store those in variables. So let's uh, do something like that. Print and uh, number and let's store that in num1. They're putting in a number so let's turn it into an integer. Uh, let's collect their input, and we'll do the same for another number. So I'm just going to copy and paste and adjust that. Another number, let's call that 
num2. So I've got the two numbers and stored them in variables. So now we're going to see if they're the same. So let's create a variable to uh, store the results. And we're going to ask is num1 equal to num2. So notice it's double equals to show a comparison and a single equals to put the result into a variable to assign that value. So let's output the results and let's do something like print. Um, num1 comma, um, so I'm going to join that with the, with the comma there is equal to and let's join it at norm two and let's say uh, the result. I close my bracket. So there's my program. So now I just need to save that with a .py extension. Once we've saved the program with the extension .py, we can run it and see how it works. So let's run or F5 is our keyboard shortcut, and let's enter a number, let's put in uh, 15, enter another number, let's put 15, and press enter, and 15 is equal to 15, that's true. Let's run it again, and let's enter 15, and enter another number, 66, 15 is equal to 66, that's false. So you can see we can ask for a number, store it in our variable, uh, do the comparison, and store the result. In this case, it's storing uh, whether it's true or false that this is equal to that. Uh, and then we can output the result um, using that stored variable, that stored result later on in our program. So give it a go yourself.